So what do you say? We all expect a gentle answer. I have possessed your grace of what I purpose, and by a holy Shabbat have I sworn that I would have the due and forfeit on my bond. If you deny it, let the danger light upon your charter and your city's freedom. You'll ask me why I choose a pad of carrion flesh rather than 3,000 ducats. I don't answer that, but I will say it is my humor. Are you answer? No! No! So what if my house be troubled by a rat, and I be pleased to pay 10,000 ducats to have it banned? Why, aren't you answered yet? No! No! So I cannot give an answer, and I will not. Other than the simple hate that I have for Antonio, I stand for judgment. Are you answered? This is no answer, thou unfeeling man, to excuse the current of your cruelty. Bassanio, I am not here to please you with my answers. Do all men kill the things they do not love? Hate said he meant the things they would not kill. Every offense is not a hate at first. Oh, you will let the snake bite you twice? I pray you, do not bother arguing with the Jew. You may as well go stand upon the beach and ask the ocean to get smaller. Therefore, I beseech you, make no more offers. Use no farther means. But with all brief and plain conveniency, let me have judgment and the Jew his will. Instead of your 3,000 ducats, here is six. If every ducat were in six parts, and each part were a ducat. I will not draw them. I will have my bond. How shall you hope for mercy rendering thine? What judgment shall I tread doing no wrong? You all have among you many a purchased slave, which you use in abject and slavish parts, because you bought them. So what if I say to you, let them be free? Marry them to your heirs. Make their bed as soft as yours. Give them the same food as you. Your legs are us. The slaves are ours. The band of flesh which I demand is dearly bought. It is mine. It is mine and I will have it. If you deny it, fire upon your law. I swear there is no force in the decrees of Venice to alter me. I stand for judgment. Upon my power, I may dismiss this court, unless Valario, a learned doctor whom I've sent for to determine this, come here today. Good cheer, Antonio. One man courage yet. The Jew shall have my flesh, blood, bones, and all, if you shall lose from me one drop of blood. I am the tainted weather of the flock, meanest for death. The weakest kind of fruit drops earliest to the ground, and so let me. The best thing you can do is to keep living, Bassanio, and write mine epitaph for my gravestone. Oh, just in time. Here is Dr. Balthazar. Can you from Padua, from Bellario? From both. <coughs> from, from both, my lord. Valerio greets your grace. Why are you sharpening your knife so easily to cut the forfeiture from that bankrupt there? Not on thy soul, but on thy soul! Hostile! Thou makest thy knife here, but no middle can bear half the keenness of thy soft envy. Can no praise reach your heart? No, none that you're smart enough to make. No, oh, you're going to hell! Be damned, you dirty dog! Killing you would be justice! You almost make me forget that I am Christian. Unless your prayer can undo the signature that is on my bomb, young man, you are wasting your lungs! This